thank you for inviting me to the celebration of the 60 years of the existence of the Southern African German Chamber of Commerce and Industry in this region of our continent. I feel especially privileged to deliver this address and to welcome the Vice Chancellor of the Federal Republic of Germany, Dr. Philipp Rosler, as well as the rest of the delegation. I hope that your brief stay has been pleasant, possibly persuading you to stay on for a further 60 years to come. At the bilateral level, our countries have enjoyed a special cooperation across various phases of life, including labor, social affairs, economy, culture, science, and renewable energies. This is aptly reflected in our cooperation portfolio, demonstrating strong German commercial sector involvement in South Africa spanning decades, particularly in the automotive and engineering sectors. Today, there are approximately 700 German-owned companies or subsidiaries of German companies in South Africa, and Germany is ranked the fourth largest export destination for South Africa in the world. Overall, South Africa's exports to Germany have been showing an upward swing over the five-year period ending in 2011. We will continue expanding bilateral ties in areas such as energy, skills development, resource development, and government-to-government -government level cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, as a nation that is still battling past impediments to socio-economic reconstruction and development, we are clearly aware that the shape of the future of our country can only be forged by what we do today. This has been our approach since the democratic dispensation in 1994. We have consistently worked to reduce government debt during growth periods, manage inflation through predictable and independent monetary policy, and encourage competition, as well as provide much-needed public services. We have, over the years, come up with a raft of measures which we believe best respond to our unique challenges of reconstruction and development, understanding that reconstruction, development, and economic growth are not only underwriters of political stability, but conduce to the realization of a united, democratic, non-racial, non-sexist, just and prosperous society. The South African government adopted the new growth path as the framework to drive our jobs vision for the country, to rebuild and strengthen the economy after the recession, and lay the platform for strong, sustained, and inclusive economic growth. The new growth path seeks to place the economy on a production-led trajectory with growth targeted through 10 jobs drivers. The first jobs driver is infrastructure development. However, we recognize that the pace of infrastructure development was lagging far behind what the nation needs. Therefore, we have established the Presidential Infrastructure Coordinating Commission, the PICC, bringing together representatives of the three spheres of government. The PICC's mandate is therefore to develop a 20-year infrastructure pipeline of projects to ensure that we can plan ahead and move away from the stop-start syndrome around the building of infrastructure. This will allow us to ensure better financial mobilization, provide greater certainty to the construction industry, give educational institutions a framework around which to plan their skills development strategies, and to provide a roadmap for investors 
and communities. The infrastructure plan needs to include a focus on maintenance so that we do not only build new assets but also keep the state of the existing infrastructure base in good working order. The PICC developed an infrastructure plan with 17 strategic infrastructure projects covering more than 150 specific infrastructure interventions. These cover all the key platforms ranging from road, rail and port, dams, irrigation systems and sanitation, new energy generation plants, transmission lines and distribution of electricity to households, communication and broadband infrastructure, social infrastructure in the form of hospitals, schools and universities, as well as regional infrastructure. The new growth path will create substantially new business opportunities for global companies, including those belonging to the German Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Ladies and gentlemen, the South African government has focused on strengthening of state-owned enterprises as one of the engines for reconstruction, development, and growth. The government's new growth path envisage a catalytic role for the state-owned enterprises, which means they must continue to be dynamic, adaptable, commercially viable, and financially sustainable. Indeed, their ability to raise capital in global markets is central to their strategic public role, and this depends on their adherence to well-established financial and accounting norms. In addition, South Africa has taken bold and decisive action to create energy security through diversifying its energy sources, accelerating access to energy, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and building a competitive 21st century clean energy economy. Germany is one of South Africa's most important trading partners, as already stated, within the European Union. Given our strong collaboration, even before the formalization of this 60 years, uh, this chamber six years ago, the government initiatives I have highlighted this evening present viable and mutually beneficial opportunities for our two countries. There are various opportunities for expanding and intensifying bilateral economic ties in renewable energy. Furthermore, renewable sources of energy are gaining importance, as can be seen from the South African government's solar water heating program. We have already commenced collaboration on the establishment of a renewable energy incubator as an SMME development initiative. The project will establish a solar water heating demonstration center, which will provide training to entrepreneurs. This manufacturing facility will prepare enterprises for manufacturing, assembling, and installing solar water heating equipment. In this regard, we appreciate Germany's continued support for the South African renewable energy sector, and we look forward to long-term cooperation within the Southern African Renewable Initiatives Program. Over and above these initiatives is the importance of cooperation in streamlining the skills delivery system through piloting dedicated industry skills hubs as outlined in our industrial policy action plan too. The most important example of this is the automotive production development program which has strong prospects for the German automotive industry in South Africa. This new automotive production development program is targeted at maintaining support to assist the industry in becoming more sustainable over time, 
ameliorating existing industry distortions and establishing a long-term policy framework up to 2020. This collaboration presents exciting opportunities in education, training, and advanced research, circumventing the major skills shortage in the industry. In conclusion, let me once again thank you for these many years of meaningful relationship between our two countries. I wish to emphasize that we are ready and willing to continue to build on this profitable engagement which, as we have indicated earlier, has the potential to help us address our accumulated historical disabilities that have a negative effect on our present efforts to realize our reconstruction and development objectives. I am confident that we can continue to count on your cooperation in the next 60 odd years to make this dream come true, which in effect denotes reaching the vision of a better managed, humane and prosperous world. With these words, I wish to congratulate the Southern African Chamber of Commerce and Industry for this important milestone. And may you live to be uh, 600 years. Thank you.